For updated information, go to KonaLabs.com. Aloha! This is a quick introductory video about the LevelSmart Wireless Autofill from Kona Labs. Comes in a priority mail package, manual, you get the level sensor. You also get the receiver with a standard 25 foot antenna, but you can order more. Get the valve, you get a power supply, and a little kit. Here's the level sensor that goes in your swimming pool. Here's some AB putty that's used to stick it on the tile. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to first take the plastic off the outside of the AB putty and massage it really good together and mix it up. It might have little chunks in it. That's okay. Just try to squish them together really good. Sets up pretty fast, so you got to be pretty quick about it. Okay, what you can do is actually rub it a little bit on the tile if your tile's all dirty. Kind of primes it a little bit, cleans it off. You might want to get a used piece instead of this one, but we have a clean tile. So we're just going to smear it on the back real good. Push it on, push it on. Make sure it's a nice even coat. We want to make sure no water gets behind the level sensor if we can help it. Because that might change the reading a little bit. Then we press it on. Now this is wet, dry, marine grade AB putty. So you can do it while the pool's at level. And you want to set this to where the pool level is at about a quarter inch above. See the little light come on when you pull the magnet off? That's it. All right. Now we're ready to show you the other stuff. Here's the power supply. It's 110 volts AC. And then it drops it down to 24 volts AC. It's UL listed. And it's rainproof or rain resistant. Here's our wire nest. Before we plug anything in, we want to make sure that we connect the valve first so we don't short those wires out. We'll twist them together real good. The polarity doesn't matter because it is 24 volts alternating current. It's not direct. We're connected to our Toro valve. Put a little wire nuts on there. Okay, now we're ready to go with the valve. Got to pay attention to the water direction through that valve now, folks. Okay, so we plug it all in. And now look at the lights on the valve controller. Now it's looking, once we plug it into our AC adapter, Look at the light scanning. It's scanning saying, hey, I'm available. I'm looking for the first available level sensor sending a pairing signal. Well, this pairing signal doesn't start until you take the magnet off. Assuming the water is at the level in the pool, let's remove the magnet and look for the little white light to flash at us. Okay, we're live. Now look at the valve controller. It sees it saying, okay, I'm seeing you. And it's going to flash each time a pairing signal is received from the level sensor in the pool long as the antenna is in the right spot, that is. That antenna is not in the right spot. It's going to go back into scanning mode after it's all done and tell you, hey, you got to move that antenna tip to a better location so the sending unit can get the signal to the antenna tip. We can give you a really long antenna length if you need it. Now look, here it goes in after 30 pairing signals. It's going to go into a calibration time. It's going to blink each time a data packet is sent to the valve controller going to happen 16 times at eight second intervals. There's this next one. Okay, we're just going to sit here and watch it because this is how we know if this is good. Assuming the water level is up at the valve control or at the level sensor right there where the finger's pointing, you're going to get a really good signal. It's going to remember where the valve, where the water level is. Now that's the lowest. That's where you should set it. The highest point, it shouldn't go above the screw, uh, screw holes on the level sensor. So the level sensor right now at every eight seconds is measuring what the water level is. It's going to average that number and that's going to be your set level. That's where it's going to want to keep the water. In an hour when it wakes up, if it measures the water lower, it's going to ask or the receiver is going to put more water in it for seven minutes. Now that's the maximum the receiver keeps the water on us for seven minutes. Every hour the level sensor wakes up send a packet over to the receiver. The receiver will evaluate that packet to see if it needs water. If it does need water, it'll tell that valve to remain on only for seven minutes, and then it'll wait for the next data from the level sensor. So here we are every eight seconds, we're getting our calibration data. This is to make sure if it's windy or wavy that we get the right mean surface level in the swimming pool. So we're very accurate. We should keep it within a tenth of an inch. So the valve controller sits there and counts away, see how many data packets it's getting to ensure that the radio reception is sound. If it isn't sound, it's going to go back into scanning mode and you're encouraged to reset the antenna position. 
Once you're paired up, you can always just reset the water level by resetting the level sensor in the pool with the magnet. So once we're all set up, and we're all calibrated, the antenna says, hey, we're good, everything's good, we have a sensor good light on, it's not scanning, that means our antenna and our level sensor has gotten 100% of the signal. If it's no good, it would scan, and we have to repeat the process. Now one way to test the valve connection, make sure that your water flow, again, is through in the right direction. Here's your valve flow control knob. By cranking it down in the clockwise direction, you can turn the water almost off. Here's a manual turn on in the center. If you loosen this and it stays loosened in any way, it will allow the valve to actuate and turn on. So make sure that that stays really good, snug and tight, so your valve stays off manually. Okay, so assuming it's plumbed in with the right direction, we can test the valve operation using our magnet. Place the magnet on, ensuring that the red alarm light goes on briefly. Removing the magnet, the valve on light will illuminate for five seconds and activate the valve on circuit and then turn off. You can test it as many times as you want, having fun all day long. Now, if you put the magnet on for 21 seconds or longer, with the red light blinking to indicate that the magnetic switch is activated, and you remove the magnet, then it will go into scanning mode. It will attempt to repair with a new pod. It will forget the pod ID it just paired with and all the information and start over. And there it goes into scanning mode. We speeded up the video so we didn't have to wait 21 seconds. It's a long time. Now, in order to repair the level sensor, say we didn't like the water level, we're going to put the magnet back on the, the level sensor. This will reactivate the switch and the light will blink and then the repairing process will resume.